Hello and welcome. I'm Jess Countenance, guided by Equus, with your Horse Wisdom Insights for the Capricorn New Moon. The first new moon of January 2022. And uh, just taking a breath, kind of before we dive into this, to once again find ourselves here. Um, just wanted to share a little bit about the seasonal changes that are coming, because um, I feel like it's kind of part of the, what we're being initiated into, I guess you could say. And we've gone from an extreme cold warning to a winter storm warning, and the wind is starting to pick up and shift directions. Um, my hands are getting cold already, so. Um, and it just feels like change is coming. Change is already upon us, actually. And that the last year of the five, 2021, was all about change. And kind of just sharing with these younger horses here, um, even though Capricorn is an earth sign and um, feels like it's very grounded, um, it also feels like with this new moon, um, <laughs> the words I just got was um, a shift in the inevitable or a shift into into the inevitable, I guess, is a better way to say that. And kind of like these young horses who um, you can't hold anybody back from growing up, it's kind of about, um, this is interesting, about letting go so that we can become part of the process. And Capricorn uh, is kind of related to the elder and like the wise elder who climbs the mountain. And with each step that you climb, there's a wisdom gained from having had to go through the step to reach the summit. And this, as we move into this year of 2022, and Bo has joined me now, uh, there's this wisdom that is coming to us that as we take each step, um, especially through what's going on, um, and is propelling us right now, propelling us kind of through this time of, of initiating change um, so that we can elevate and rise. And as we elevate and rise, we kind of see ourselves and our journey from a different perspective. And so these next couple of weeks is actually helping us see from this elevated perspective so that we can um, kind of I guess the image I'm just getting is come back down the mountain and perform the tasks kind of like the the Sherpa would who goes up the mountain and comes back down and then takes the next um, set of people and guides them and as we do this we become kind of this guiding light or the guiding wisdom in our own lives as well as for others. And so whatever your mountain is, um, it's that thing that is inspiring you to summit it. And uh, kind of like the weather right now, there's a sense of exposure, of vulnerability that we are maybe feeling as this year changes. And, and my phone just died, so I'm not too sure what that was all about. Um, but interesting to me that, so now I have Bo, Aini, and Mahina right behind me, um, who is, Mahina is the light of the moon, uh, Aini is reciprocity, and Bo is conjuring up. So as we um, work through these next couple weeks in this, this new moon in Capricorn, whatever is being brought to the surface, being conjured up through us, um, being invoked, is helping us find our way through the giving and receiving, the reciprocity of it, of what is being illuminated. Um, so much love for myself and all of these horses, and it's really cold, so I'm ending this on um, a good note, and so many blessings to each and every one of you, from myself and the Guided by Equus.